policeman accused of stealing more than $65,000 from the La Jolla Park and Recreation Center is in court right now, waiting to find out if she's going to go to trial. And 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala, you just stepped outside the courtroom. You join us live now. What uh, just happened? Yeah, Jason, well, Cindy Graytrek sat right next to her lawyer today in court as a, a board member from the La Jolla Park and Rec Center took the witness stand, and that board member said she had no idea Graytrex was writing checks out to herself, and for every check to be authorized, it should have had at least two signatures from board members. These are all checks that were um, written by Cindy Graytrex, and... Uh, there were no secondary s signatures on any of them. It has always been a requirement of our bylaws. Graytrex is accused of stealing about $67,000 from La Jolla Park and Recreation, Inc., where she was the former board president. The prosecutor says she made out checks from the center payable to herself, then cashed them into her personal bank account. These checks only included her signature, which you just heard that board member say bypasses the board policy of having two signatures authorizing each check. Graytrex previously stated that that's inaccurate, but this criminal complaint outlines that she has been charged with grand theft by employee. Graytrex claims she's innocent and that the money was used to reimburse herself for grant writing fees that she paid over a long period of time at that rec center. Before the hearing began, her lawyer told me he's glad their day in court is finally here and there will be a lot of evidence, he says, presented in her favor at this hearing. But if this case does go to trial and she is convicted, she does face thousands of dollars in fine and even jail time, possibly. Reporting live downtown, Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thank